Hey guys, Wade Vanderbilt with Pruitt Title. In today's video, I want to talk about why video is prospecting. So realtors in a traditional sense, they look at prospecting as picking up the phone, sending out emails, door knocking, maybe they send out a newsletter or whatever it is. But typically it's, you know, we're going to pick up the phone, circle dial, call our sphere of influence, call our farm, call for sale by owners. And that is prospecting. But did you know that using video in your real estate business, in your title business, your lending business, is a form of prospecting? So I've been doing video since 2012, and I've spoken to well over 200 people who've called me from YouTube or Google, and they're saying, wait, I'm finding your videos, I'm watching them, I like them, they're engaging, etc." and they call me to either get information or they wanna hire me for coaching or something, and that is prospecting, right? These videos live on the internet, 24 hours a day, seven days a week for people to discover. And we've all been there. You find a channel you like, or you see a video that you like, whether it's on Instagram or if it's an account on Instagram or a YouTube channel. And next thing you know, you've watched 10 of their videos or a bunch of their posts or a bunch of their reels. And you feel at that point like you kind of gotten to know them, right? So if you've watched a lot of my videos and you've never reached out to me, you probably feel like you kind of know me though a little bit, right? So that's what video can do for a real estate agent or a lender or a title person. Video will sell for you, okay? So in the form of prospecting, it's really reverse prospecting because you're not outbound seeking people. You're finding out who is your target audience, what would they find engaging or helpful or educational, and then you create video content around that thing, whether it's on a micro level like Instagram or Facebook, or if it is on a macro level like YouTube, right? That's owned by Google. But not creating that content and not creating that visibility and that credibility is deadly in this market. In the market that we're in, if you don't wanna take the time to get in front of a camera, post video content, let people know who you are, introduce yourself to your community, to your farm, to your target audience, you are in trouble. Okay, unless you want to pick up the phone and make a thousand phone calls a day all the time uh, and just kind of like beat the streets and do all of that. But here's the thing. All of those activities, they take time. They take a lot of time. Okay, you know what doesn't take time? Shooting a five minute video on YouTube and having it live there forever for people to watch at any point in time while I'm asleep, while I'm out to dinner with my wife, while I'm on vacation, while I'm meeting with another agent. That is happening, okay? So it is prospecting for me all the time. That is what's called leverage. That's leverage, right? In your real estate business. So now that you've thought about this and you say, okay, fine, I'm gonna do it, what do I create my videos about? Good question. You're in real estate. There's a lot of things to create videos about, okay? But if you want some ideas, talk to your past clients. Talk to your sphere. Talk to your farm. Talk to your family. Talk to your friends. And ask them, hey, I'm going to start shooting videos on the internet about real estate stuff. What do you want to know about, okay? Read the news. Look what's happening with this. Take a stance on an opinion and create your own a video about that opinion and create your own thing about it, right? Look at what I've shot or look at what, go on Inman.com or look at other stories or look at what you think what might happen in the future about a topic or something. Do you have a listing coming up? Tell me a fun fact about the farm. Like there's a million things that you could be talking about to get your face, your voice, your brand, your trust, your education in front of the people that you want to do business with, okay? So that they ultimately reach out with a referral or they reach out to do business with you directly, okay? So where do you post this content? Okay, there's a bunch of places. Obviously TikTok and Snap. No, the two best places in my opinion are Instagram for Reels. Reels can get you a lot of engagement and get you a lot of reach. Stories are great because your follower, followers can see it, other people can see it for 24 hours. You can pin your stories on your, on your profile. So that's a great way. Instagram is a visual platform. You are in a visual business, okay? So use that platform. It doesn't cost anything to post micro reels, right? Micro videos. And then of course, YouTube. It is owned by Google. It can put your videos in Google searches to prove it to you. If you go to Google right now and you type in training for title sales reps, you'll see a bunch of videos pop up first ahead of my website because it ranks videos and people visit YouTube all the time. So 
taking the time to do something that most agents, most lenders, most title reps don't want to do will help you set yourself apart from your competition and it will help you with prospecting. So hopefully this is important. I'm Wade Vandermullen. I'm the Senior Vice President of Business Development at Pruitt Title in Northern Virginia, Washington, DC. And if you're a real estate agent, you're watching this and you're like, hmm, this guy makes sense. Maybe we should partner with him to help so that he can help us get our business off the ground or grow our business. Please reach out, wade at pruitt-title.com. Subscribe to my channel if you like my channel, if you like this video and it's valuable to you and you've made it to the end, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching.